am Shivam Parath of Shiv360. Today in this video, I am going to tell how does day and night occurs and how does season occurs. Come guys, let's go inside this video and know about it. To know all about this, don't skip this video and see this video till end. How does day and night occurs? The day and night on this earth occurs because of its, its rotation and the seasons because of the revolution. First day and night. When the earth is rotating, there are many countries and continents in this earth. So when, for example, if India is having daytime, then America which is straight opposite to it, which will not get any light from any sun. That is, it won't get light from sun because it is opposite to the light, that is sunlight. So the earth will be having morning or if it is straight, straight to the sun, it will be having the 12 noon, it will be very hot. But after when it's going, if it, the rays become slanting, there will be evening like 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock. And if it is 12 at night, it will be directly opposite to the sun's rays. And the sun, the earth is not at, 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 a, at a correct sphere, spherical shape. It is somewhat tilted. So because of its stiltness, only we are getting the seasons. There is two hemispheres, that is Northern Hemisphere, India, Russia, America, Mexico, Canada, many, the whole Europe. These countries and these continents are in the Northern Hemisphere. But Australia, New Zealand, Southern part of Africa, Argentina, Chile, these countries are in the Southern Hemisphere. If Northern Hemisphere is having the summer season, then the southern hemisphere have, will be having the winter season. Normally in the June month, the northern hemisphere will be having the will be having summer season. And there are four positions of earth in the revolution. That is the, the four positions are summer solstice, winter solstice, which will be straight opposite, and the equinox equinox to equinox which will be in straight opposite and the summer solstice which will be in June so that the northern hemisphere will be having summer and southern hemisphere will be having winter and next is winter solstice that is the northern hemisphere will be having winter season and southern hemisphere will be having summer season and this equinox two equinox that is on March and on September on March that is its spring and September that is autumn season and when these seasons are occurring the main reason for the seasons is the that is it's the earth is little tilted and it, on its axis it is little tilted and thus the poles on this earth they will they have their own seasons the poles on earth will be having just two seasons that is summer season and winter season. That is North Pole means Sweden, Norway, Finland, some parts of Russia and Greenland and some parts of Canada. And if it is Southern South Pole, it is near Australia and it, that is completely of Antarctica. And if the Northern, that is North Pole is having summer and if the South Pole will be having the winter season. If it is a summer season, it won't be hot or it won't be very warm. However, it will be cold and it will be very chill. But the temperature will be high, which is compared to the winter season. But in the summer season, there will be some light throughout the day and there will be no night. But the temperature will not be high, but the, there will be complete daylight, but the temperature won't be high. But when it comes to South Pole, if it is the winter season, the temperature will be very cold than the summer season and the, the temperature will be less comparative to the summer season and there will be no daylight that is if in summer season there will be full daylight and in the winter season there won't be light it will be completely dark and the people want to live with the help of some lights their own lights but it is very tough and only the algae can grow in these poles because there will be no good sunlight 
and the temperature will be high and guys today my video is over and i believe you know how the days occur and the seasons occur the season will be there in north pole and south pole and guys today my video is over and if you like this video click the like button share this video and for more videos subscribe my channel thank you guys i will see you in the next video bye